Hello, beautiful. The only thing I care about today is if my shirt looks sparkly on screen. You can see it, right? It's Victoria's Secret time, baby. For me, and like many other gays and women, the Victoria's Secret fashion show is our Super Bowl. And the fact that it's back, <laughs> we're gonna look at all the wings, all the fashion looks, everything that was done for production of the show and talk about it. So if you wanna hear all my unfiltered opinions, you've come to the right place. Let's do it. I just wanna put a quick disclaimer before I begin judging all these looks. Fashion is art, so what I think looks bad might be someone else's favorite look, and that's totally fine. It's all subjective, so do not take what I say too seriously. At the end of the day, fashion is about expressing yourself, and that's what makes it so fun. This video and all the fashion videos to come should not be taken too seriously, and I can appreciate the art behind every single look I ever see, and I think any way you wanna express yourself is totally fine. However, I I am a judgy person and I like to judge things. And if you put it out there, I'm gonna judge it. That's all. Okay, we started off the night with the pink carpet moment. We're gonna go quick through this because the pink carpet has never really been the most important thing of the VS fashion show. And honestly, I can't remember a super memorable moment. I don't know if I'm just blanking. And also the production for the pink carpet was kind of normal. Not a lot to say here. So first we have Miss Cher, the icon herself. She is an older woman and the outfit, in my opinion, doesn't look too young on her. Like she looks like she embodied the outfit. However, the look is wearing her a little bit as well. Don't love it. We have Lisa, who was, of course, also a performer that night. I don't die for this. Oh, sometimes I'm way too unfiltered, but it looks like you could have bought that on Amazon. Like, the look is just not special to me. You could do so much more. It doesn't need to be completely revealing to be Victoria's Secret. It just needs to look a little bit sexy and feminine. Tyla. She is this close to being naked. And honestly, I don't love the color with her skin. For me, overall like just way out of this world too sexy. Queen Latifah, I don't really have a lot to say about this. Does she look bad? No. Is the outfit interesting or cool or Victoria's Secret in any sense? In my opinion, no. Would I have chose to wear this? No. Would I style somebody in this? No. And that is all I have to say about this. Jordan, I don't know what it, what were we thinking with this one. At least it got the sexiness. I am not a huge fan of sheer clothing. Anything that's see-through, I don't know. It just always reads cheap to me. I also don't like a cinched waist with a belt. Why the hell is there a belt around your damn waist? Put like some chains around your waist, you know? Put something interesting. The hair is chaotic. <laughs> something straight, sleek, and minimal would have been nice. I think the makeup is a lot and the chains are on the neck. I just don't think need to be there. Phoebe, it's not my favorite. I just think it's a minimal but done nicely and not overdone. We definitely could have done without the tights or maybe a pink tight. That might be a little crazy. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the shoes, but I think the look cohesively is nice. I thought that I was gonna have more favorites so far, but I've kind of trashed on everything. And for that, I say, I am sorry. Listen, sometimes I end up in rooms with all the people who do these looks and I have to tell you, it's awkward and I feel bad. I don't think anybody who's an artist does anything bad. I just have opinions. And I like to share them. Isn't that the point of art? Shouldn't we have opinions on it? I don't know. I feel like I have to defend myself every time I shit on people. I honestly am not familiar with this woman, but Jody Turner Smith, she ate this shit up. The green jacket, I wish it was not green. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I like the green. It is cinched at the waist with two belts. Again, could have done without that. Just give me something that's not that predictable. Olivia Culpo. She doesn't look bad. I just don't like it. I don't know. God, something about it makes me feel not not as good as I would like to feel. Honestly, fuck, could have just done without the blazer. Just done a f short underneath some, some tights and a bra and a bag and a shoe. Don't do too much, guys. We're all doing too much these days. Olivia Ponton. Hi, Olivia. If you're watching, love you, babe. I honestly think she ate this shit up. I love when people are cohesive with the step and repeat colors. Like she just goes with the theme and she looks great and she's not doing too much, but it's still sexy. It's perfectly accessorized. And I just think it's very chic, different and a vibe. My girl Taffy, it's slightly witchy, but it's kind of like pinup sexy. And it kind of has a vintage feel, which I do enjoy. So. I like this. Okay, now what you guys all came here for, which is the actual show. Let's get into it. Lisa came out in this look. This look was made out of bottle caps. Whoa, what do you call them? Coke 
bottle caps, things, whatever you call those things. And then she has her like rock star symbol star in the center of her bra. I think the hairstyling and the makeup look awesome on her and it's a bit of a different vibe than we were used to seeing with Blackpink. And so I enjoy that a lot. I think it's cool. It's not as simple as just a cutesy lingerie outfit. It's a little more amped up and glamorous and kind of like medieval. It kind of looks like armor, which is a vibe. And of course we saw her eat up the runway. She was strutting that shit up and all around and dancing her little heart out singing her little tunes and doing it well. This is when we get to some of my opinions about the runway though. Where was the sparkles on the runway? Why was the runway not elevated? Cause the runway was built on a platform. People were coming up from the underneath of it. Why didn't we just lose that whole moment? Cause we don't need that. And just build above the audience instead. Like the thing is also with this production is that it looked a little cheap, but the production, if you look close, was not cheap. They are LED paneled out on this thing. I don't understand the flooring. Why is there holes in the floor? Give a sleek, modern, sexy. Why change a good thing? It's probably very hard behind the scenes. They're a legendary brand with a lot of opinions on the internet, but I can say from one person who's a huge Victoria's Secret fashion show fan, if anybody from the company watches this, we are not those people making those hate videos about Victoria's Secret. We do want diversity in every way, but we still want you to keep the essence of what Victoria's Secret fashion shows are. And to me, what they are is finding the next most beautiful face out in the world. Beautiful wings, themes, Christmas time, great performances, blowouts, high heels, glamorous, sexy makeup, and great walks and great personalities and a pre-recorded show that has a entire plot to it. I wanna see the drama and the hardships of making this show happen. We can just mix in that realness into the show. Like it's not as simple as it looks or like follow one of the girls on her, her journey to becoming a model and her fitness routine and what she does to prep. Just be real, like just show us that people get filler and Botox and work out and eat these crazy diets. Like I wanna just know what that model's entire lifestyle is in order to get to the show. And with the body diversity, I think that we have a lot more opportunity to show like more realism of like, I don't give a fuck, I eat McDonald's before the show. And more backstories of the trans models and how that felt to be on the runway. Bring us on the journey of creating the show and how much it means to people. Interview the fans of the show. Ask them what they wanted to see in the show and put that in a little documentary that comes out before the show happens to get the hype build up. You can make a documentary for very very low amount of money. Like this doesn't need to be high budget, high quality. Just give somebody a fucking iPhone and go record it. Like it could be cute on, on their YouTube channel, a five part series, but you didn't do that. Oh my God, if I had the kind of money that Victoria's Secret has, I would do so much with that brand. Okay, and then we move on to Miss Gigi Hadid. Gigi was serving face cards. She was serving Mama Angel. She was serving, I am the woman of the year. I am the one. Let me just say, the wings, that is Victoria's Secret to me. And she looked hot. I don't know what, what about the cut of this silk garment it makes me a little uneasy. I think it's just a very flabby in the front. I would have liked just a silk short and pink, but it's not bad, I don't know. I think the whole look is nice. I think it's a great pink color for her. Gigi's hair here. I don't know why anybody would choose this for the Victoria's Secret fashion show with this look. It's not that hard, I just wanna blowout, but she looks hot and she ate. Miss Anok, it seems like a lot of looks in one. The bra maybe just should have been the same tone pink as the dress. And the wings, I don't know, they're giving like really intense, what do you call it, that game, this game. And it's giving very much that, which I think honestly, oh my God, a gaming theme would have been so fun. Cool. And that brings me to the subject of where was the themes? I feel like there was slight themes here and there, but we were lacking a vision. Where was the concept? Why would you give us a Victoria's Secret show and then take out the good things about it? That's what I don't get. Don't even get me started on the model hunt. Like where was the model hunt? Why were we doing old faces? The older girls are gorgeous. They're stunning. We knew that though. We've been known that. It would have been really nice if we just wiped the slate clean of all the old faces, maybe kept in 
one or two or three of them just sprinkled in here and there. And there's probably a lot of politics behind the scenes. Like if we bring back one of these old girls, the other girls are gonna be mad about it. And then it just creates this whole drama within the Victoria's Secret world. And it's like, why am I not walking the show? Why is she walking the show? I'm sure it's messy. So I don't know how much they could do there. I feel like this show was made to give these girls a chance at stardom, like at being the next supermodel. And that's what they did for so many years. And that was the coolest part about this. Like I wanna discover with Victoria's Secret, the next angel. I wanna be a part of it. Adriana Lima, they did her so fun. Dirty. She's so gorgeous and she could wear anything. I want to hold myself back from saying it because I know that somebody takes time to make these things and everybody has their own opinions and I just feel like it's a stripper outfit. <laughs> and is that crazy for Victoria's Secret to make a stripper outfit? No, it's lingerie. I'm sure a lot of strippers have great, great lingerie. A little too stripper in my opinion. I did see a TikTok where they showed that these wings are from an older Victoria's Secret show. She was about to go out and she's like, give me some fun wings and she just put on the first wing she saw because I don't know how these two things go together like what are these wings with this costume again the hair a ponytail on a Victoria's Secret fashion show what in the world if you're watching this and you're the person that, that thought of that idea I'm so sorry but why next we have Iman and oh my god absolutely stunning I don't have anything bad to say about this at all everything is great maybe I could have done without the hoop earrings but don't tell anybody because I was trying to make sure I liked this one like fully. The hair is nice. Would I have preferred a blowout? Say it with me. Yes. Paloma. It's ill-fitting. The wings look very upset. I just think if Victoria's Secret, like if you're gonna do wings, just give us wings. Like I don't need anything that's small. Go big or go home. And I don't know, the dress, I honestly, I really give it to models because I couldn't. Like a person with so many opinions could never. I know these girls are so sweet and they go to these fittings and they're like, it's a job. I have to just wear whatever they give me. But everybody knows which looks are bad and which are, which are good. We all know. And so these girls at this fittings, I'm sure they get the thing on. They're like, okay, like, this is the one. Okay, great. Like, I just know. But the face and the body looks nice. It's just a very ill-fitting costume. I hate when you can see the straps from the angel wings. Integrated into the outfit. This is Bless Naya. Face card never declined once in her entire life. Dress, I do like. The bra and panties underneath, do not like. It is a fashion show to show bras and underwear. I guess, what else are you gonna do, right? So I accept this one as a win and she looks good as hell. I've never seen her face before and I love her face. Taylor Hill. The haircut is very cute here. She looks very youthful and adorable. At first when I saw these uh, this skirt, I was like, what the fuck? Isn't that? But then I look closer and it's a bunch of Victoria's Secret PJ bottoms. And I think it is very creative and kind of cute. And the bra is cute as well. This would have been better without the wings. The angel wings just look like they have been worn to the ground and have not been taken care of. Awar, good lord. Damn, her skin tone with that pink just boom. Ooh, she looks poppin' and good. And honestly, the cape is fun. It's very theatrical, but she is wearing it. For that, I say it's great. The shoes have been eating in pretty much every look. I do have to give this shoemaker the props for that one. A little twisty twist on the ankle never fails to make me excited and happy, especially when it's rhinestone twisty twist. Doubtson, she's an OG BS girl. This look, they did her one of the most dirty, dirty of all the looks. None of it really comes together for me or makes any sense. Body on 10, face on 11, hoop earrings. I just don't know whose decision was that. The wings, again, look like video game character wings. The mesh or whatever f thing it's called. Crystal rhinestone f thing on the bottom. Take it off. The shoes don't go with the outfit. Everything is just a little bit weird. And the hair looks like it's a day old blowout. But she ate it anyways. She, she said, I'm gonna wear this look no matter what it looks like. And that's what a model does. Miss Tyla. There's a lot going on and I can't really tell what's going on, but I like what's going on. And it's something that I really am interested in knowing more about. On a closer inspection, I like the feather wings. They are very theatrical and fun. I love how the performer got better wings than the angels did. Make that one make sense for me. Also, Tyla ate up this performance. She was just sexy, very BS, very cute, very chic. I also saw a TikTok where they said they practice the show or like, yeah, do like practice runs for like four days or so before the actual show with stand-in models. And I'm like, what? 
Whoa. You give me five days to produce a damn show. Crown of Swords gonna be good. However, they do have a lot of models and a lot of accessories and a lot of things going on. I am sure this costs a bajillion dollars and it's very hard to do, so I must say, I understand. But you've done it before, Victoria's Secret, so give us it again. Alex Consani, a trans model. Woo! These beautiful plus size women, plus the trans women, really ate the night away. I mean, we love to see it. Like, they are still aspirational, right? The face card is never declining on anybody. And I, you still want to look like them. And that's what I love. You want to look like these girls. Like, they look incredible. Alex, this kind of very icy, ice princess look, but mixed with this, like, dark eye thing going on. I like it. The wings are creative. And I think that this is overall a Victoria's Secret look. And I do enjoy it. You know what it would have brought it though to high Victoria's Secret status. Just spread out rhinestones. It doesn't need to be like detailed condensed rhinestones. I want rhinestones like just speckled all around it. So when she goes into the light, it just glimmers. It shines. We want glamour. We want more from Victoria's Secret. We want the girliest of the girly glamour ever. The smoky eye. Where did that come from in this show? Because I don't think one other person had a dark smoky eye. It feels like the brief for the hair and makeup team was just like, give it your all. Do whatever you want. Vibe with it. Have fun. Be creative. Which works sometimes, but not Victoria's Secret where they have a very specific image. Barbara. Okay, these wings are definitely fun. I enjoy this. Very modern take on wings. The bra poking out. It's giving Sports Illustrated. I'm okay with this. I think she looks amazing. And yeah, I think she's sexy. However, like, why are we wearing dresses? I don't know about you guys, but like, I want to see the tip, the butts and the bodies. I wanna see it all. Also, you'll see it, guys. You'll see that a lot of the looks, the girl's legs are not oiled. Did somebody forget the f baby oil? Like, why are we not oiling the legs? It doesn't need to be a lot of oil, just like a shine. These girls are matte. This is Jessie, very cute outfit. I like this one a lot. Very Victoria's Secret, very cute, very hot. There's a big cape theme. I think it eats every time. Jasmine Tux, another OG girl. This is cute. I could have done without the wings that I don't like that look like they're aged. Some of these things I just don't really have a lot to say because they're not very memorable. And I think that most of it has to do with there not being a theme. I think we can do it tacky. But tacky with a theme, you know? Like, let me be like, oh, well, it was themed girls in jobs. You know, they did that one year. Like, the girls at girls at work or something like that. Where they did, like, police costumes and, like, a bunch of tacky shit. It was so cute. Like, there's a time and a place for tack. And it, the time and place is at the Victoria's Secret fashion show. With tacky fun looks. Lila Moss. She is a small little girl. And she's got a cute little tan line. Don't even get me started. The tan line, there could have been a whole segment on tan lines. Like, it could have been beach plus tan line section of the show. Like, how cute would that be have been if they all had different creative tan lines going on? Is it just me or would that be so cute? And like visor, like sun thingies and like big sunglasses and there's so much we can do. And then she also got wings with her signature on it, which I think is creative and kind of cool. The look is sexy and it's really cute. And yeah, I think it is a modern take on BS. So I enjoy this one. Josephine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving Super Bowl halftime show Lady Gaga. Not a fan of this. This look is difficult. And damn, those panties are small. Vika or Vika. Um, holy sh they said, let's get them bigger. Let's get the wings as big as possible. Let's turn into a butterfly. It's giving very dress up princess. Um, not super sexy. I wish the skirt was like a third of the size. I want the cooch and the butt hanging out. This is Victoria's Secret. Let's not mess around here. I could see a girl like actually wearing this on Halloween and it being cute. Mika. There was so much discourse on this girl, oh my god, because she gave like attitude at the end of the runway. She was like, which would have been me. You gotta do something different to stand out. And she's like, fuck it, let me just be a b let me just own it. She has a resting b face for the gods. Like, ah, oh, beautiful. The bra is rising up to her chin, and I think that's because she has a lack of a chest. Love a lack of a chest, but god, that bra is about to show nipple. The garment, it looks like a beach cover up. It's very boring. She was probably pissed because they gave her fuck poop earrings and a sheer dress. This one's a no for me. Neelam, good for you, girl, because if they gave me that, I wouldn't walk out. It's the iridescence. It gives Burning Man and DIY and not like aspirational. Like, I, I could make it. The garment underneath, I don't know what. Burning 
Burning Man again, or festival wear. You could have tied this in if you did a festival section. And then I would have been like, oh, well it goes with the theme. Like you could have won me over so easily. Victoria, this is so good. She made somebody happy in the styling department because this is a good, those wings are hot. The feather wings is such a good idea. It's so new, it's so cool, it's such a vibe. She ate this up. Candace, this is understated and still very hot. I actually really enjoyed this outfit. I like the Victoria's Secret wing. I think that's cool and it's really, really well done. I don't know how they got these words to look so perfect. That is talent. Like the video if you agree that these wings are iconic. I don't know why we had to do the hoops and the hair, but we've been over this a few times today and I'm gonna let it go now because I need to stop talking about it because it's angering me. Lisa came out again for another performance of her new song and she tore once again. The wings are sick. I think she ate this whole thing up and this is the sexiest I've ever seen Lisa look and I was like, Give me more, Lisa. Carla, it's whatever to me. It's like not a bad look. It's not great. You know what I feel about these types of wings. Don't like them. The hair is down though, and she's looking gorgeous, but it's just like, eh. Alessandra. Everything is great about this look. Just lose the rhinestone skirt. It doesn't need to be there at all. Like there's literally not one reason I could think of of why we need to add that on. The looks don't need to be overcomplicated. Like I want them to look hot. That's it. Like we don't need to make them like super fashion and like, oh my God, let's try something new. Like you could literally just do the same thing you were doing in 2008 and I'd be like, <laughs> I would be impressed. Valentina, another trans beauty. The look is good besides the skirt and the wings look sad. So the look isn't great, but she looks good. I think she just looks great and I was like blown away by her face and then I just ignored everything else. That's a good sign. Oh my Lord. Rianne, I don't know who convinced her. I would have put up a fight. Star boobs. I would have never expected to see that. This would have been nice in a rock star collection. Could have been nice. There's not a rock star collection going on that I know of. The wings are nice. They look complicated to make. There's no need for the belt. It's not my vibe. A lotto. Ah, what's the vibe of this portion of the show? Because I am not understanding. Actually, it's growing on me. I don't think this is bad. I think it's just the ponytail. It's like throwing me off. I'm like, whoa, ponytail, no. But the rest, kind of hot. Let's go through some looks a little bit faster. Ashley Graham, the wings look sad. The outfit doing nothing for her. Like she looks good, but just like give us some color. It was dark on her. Like it was kind of just like blah. I just don't like the idea that you could have bought this. Like give me couture. Face card, never declined. Body looks good down. And I think this whole outfit is very flattering. The wings just look a little sad to me. Are those marijuana leaves? I don't think so. I think they're just regular leaves. Hey, I thought she was walking barefoot. Could have done a black shoe for sure. The rest, fine. Isabelle, I'm not a fan of the, sh uh, the shoulder thing. It looks dated in my opinion, but cool at the same time. Uh, Joanne Smalls, eight. These are the wings that I need and want and everybody should have them. The whole show could be simplified. Just a few themes, a few different wings, and you just put them on like every other person and you call it a day. And everybody wears the same beautiful wings instead of having to choose like five million wings that are made by 10 million different people and all this shit. It's like, we don't need to make it so complicated. I think Victoria's Secret thinks we are more difficult to please than we are. It's easy, but she looks good. Jill, um, holy flower, no. <laughs> I don't like floral personally, so this is just definitely not my vibe. It looks very DIY arts and crafts. This is just not what I would I would think we would do, you know? Vivian, big ass tassels and the rhinestone skirt. It's like the traveling skirt. Like everybody just like wears it. If they feel like uncomfortable being so naked on the runway, they're just like, oh, here, take my rhinestone skirt with you. Kate Moss, the accentuation of the lower stomach region in that circular pattern makes her look like it might be a pregnancy outfit. Do I think she looks pregnant or fat in any way? No, but I would imagine a girl who is pregnant wearing something that's a circular cutout on her lower stomach. So for that, I'm just not a big fan. And the wings, they're not giving wings to me. They're just too small. Build those things up. Give us the energy of the wings. Irina, it's the stars for me. It's just a little too childish. And I don't see a section which this would fit in. You know how I keep saying, you just do a rock star collection. This one, maybe not. Just don't do a collection for it. It's not my favorite. Cher came out, she did a little number. She was wearing an outfit and it wasn't my favorite look ever. It's hard to like tell what's going on in some of these looks. Actually, just when you think about, you know what I'm gonna say, I actually think it's kind of cute. Like for her, it's nice. Though, I mean, she is known for some crazy shit that she's done in her past, and I just feel like she could pull out something from the archives and put it on. Like, let's put a gown on. 
I don't know if we need to do like a whole cargo pant. Also, cargo pants are over. They were here for a good year, but now they need to be done. And the bedazzled cargoes at that. And maybe a chunkier shoe next time. The dancers were off though. Gigi Hadid, uh, the red was beautiful. The pink shoe with the red look. Personally, I don't understand pink with red. They do live in the same kind of color family, but they just don't look right together. And it automatically just gives me Valentine's Day, which maybe this kind of was giving, the whole thing was getting Valentine's Day, this whole kind of like portion of the show. Not my favorite look, but she's wearing it well. And we have the hoop earrings again. Yes. That's the one. Absolutely. I have a biased opinion about this look because if there's one person that I just think could literally do no wrong as a model, it would be Bella Hadid. I think most of us can agree with that. Like guys, her energy and her, oh my God. She could wear a trash bag and I would praise her. Like I am just such a stan, it's crazy. And she looks fierce, come on. She looks good, no? Or yes. She just looks fun and God, the face card has never declined ever. Oh. Holy sh like, damn, that's a Victoria's Secret angel, baby. Paloma looks also very, very fierce. I love this whole look. Just the hair. I don't know why the hair is up and back. Iman, this is actually very cute. And it is pink and red, which I just said I hate. But this is kind of a good way of doing it, if we're going to do it. I love these style wings that also Lisa was wearing as well. Grace, um, this is a cute outfit. She looks like a very petite girl. Like, good. She's good lord. She's... Tiny little girl, she's so cute. I actually like these Victoria's Secret wings a lot and I think they're really cute. Candace, they were like, girl, you're gonna go out there naked. And she was like, fine, <laughs> fuck, fuck, never looked better in my whole life. And she did. Again, this is a super simple look, but it works. Like it's not overly done. It's not overly complicated and it's not trying too hard. And the thing on her back, I think those are wings that, I mean, it's a little sad, but I think they're still kind of cute. Rania, ah, goodness gracious. How did these shoes end up with that? Is the only question I have for this one. I. Don't understand it. Victoria, oh my God, this is hot. Love the whole look and she looks amazing in it. Rianne, these are pretty cool wings. It looks like this metal is just wrapped around her and I think it's pretty inventive and pretty interesting and pretty modern for Victoria's Secret. Tyra Banks. <sighs> She looks beautiful. I have to say that I don't have a good thing to say about the look though. And I don't wanna be like horribly negative and just say like the whole thing is, you know, but the whole thing is, you know. Black legging, the rhinestoned corset that looks like it was done the night before. The cape, I don't know. We are barely showing even in a little bit of skin. And the show is about showing skin. So for me, it's a no, <laughs> absolutely not. I have so many more opinions, you guys. And I could go on for days about this show. I knew from the promos of the show that it wasn't gonna be great. The show overall, I think was okay. It was decent. It was definitely something. And I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. But I think there's a lot of room for growth. And maybe next year they will take some people's opinions and make it better. It's Victoria's Secret. I'm sure they'll be fine either way. Make sure to leave a comment below about all your opinions as well because I want to hear every single one of them. I want to have a conversation with you. And make sure you check out my hair care line, Xmondo Hair at xmondohair.com or with the links right down below. We have so many great products, including our brand new 5N and 5G dark brown and golden brown hair mask. This is called Super Gloss. It's gonna make your hair so shiny, so gorgeous, and so Victoria's Secret supermodel vibes. Oh, it's incredible and so easy to use. And this is semi permanent color, so you don't have to worry about pissing off your hairstylist. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.